Welcome to the video on how to set up the Ingenico ISMP4. The first thing you need to do is to power the device on by clicking the little button at the top right hand corner and holding it down for one second or so. You'll see the device begin to go through its boot up process and eventually it will come to a splash screen and when you see the splash screen you'll hit 2634 and then the green button which is the enter key. So we'll wait for the splash screen to come up. Almost there. Here it is. Two, six, three, four, enter. Now press F for the menu. Press zero for the Telium manager. Press three for initialization. Press 2 for hardware, and then scroll down or just press 5 for Wi-Fi. And to scroll down, you press F2. Now press 2 to scan networks, and it's going to look for all the Wi-Fi networks that are within reach. We have several in our office, but we're going to connect to Bridal Live. Press the green key to select it and then press the green key again to select home security. Now enter in your Wi-Fi password and click the green key. And click the green key one more time. And now you're ready to power the device off and power it back on again. And you do that by just hitting that little button at the top right corner. It will go through its boot up process and eventually end up at the activation code screen. When you see that, you're going to jump over into Merchant Track and add the terminal. Merchant Track is the back end system that you use to view all of your terminals, to view all of your processing uh, transactions, and several other reports and things like that. So there's the activation code. We're going to jump over into Merchant Track now and click on the Activate Terminal link enter in the activation code itself and then give the device a name that will show up within Bridal Live as well as within Merchant Track and since this is a mobile terminal you may want to uh, give it a number at the end and then potentially put a sticker on each one of these if you have several floating around the store that way you'll know which terminal is which now that the terminal has been added let's take a look at how the device responds to activation here we are back with the device and we see the activation code is still there. It takes about a 30 seconds or so for the device to actually receive the activation signal. It says this lane is closed but that's fine and as soon as you see try POS you'll know that you're all done. Success!